Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. And follow me on IG at Farmer Khalil. Today we have a great vlog to you where we look into an inspirational story, um, part two. And we also look into a livestock market. And I'm sure it's probably the first for you guys knowing that we have a market dedicated to the sale of animals. So we'll follow with us on our vlog. Hey guys, we're out here in Christiana Mandeville. And this might be pretty new to a lot of persons, but we're at a, actually a livestock market. Um, we're on a Wednesday or a Saturday, farmers will carry their animals that they want to sell. So cattle on a Wednesday, probably a Saturday, will bring you pigs um, and sheep and goat. And they will just have it all sold to, to, to buyers right here. So this was a very big thing back in the days. Um, it started way back from the 40s, where they created these livestock markets separated from the crops market. So one this is great to see one still operational and i hope that you know later though we can create more models like this to have livestock produce being distributed through a particular channel so let's take a quick look at how it works we have you know the buyer would come look at the animals um they would select beside on a price load them and then they're off to the to the abattoir so it's pretty cool guys livestock market I believe it's still excellent that we have about two functional livestock markets still working across the island. This created a lot of buzz back in the days where farmers, cattle farmers, sheep, goat, and pig farmers would carry this to their marketplace and basically auction off their animals to the best, the best price, the butcher or the best price buyer. Um, this has definitely fallen off. Um, the livestock sector has suffered throughout the years and has had a reduction in you know animal production, especially cattle production. However, I think this is great and I hope one day we can create very similar, more modern models, especially for our small ruminants to have our animals sold at premium prices to the marketplace. This operation is run by the parish council. Well, since we are in the Mandeville era, we had to go and check with Shervin, who his son Kyle created a buzz with the females because he was so great in our vlog. He told me to come and take a look at what we expanded and I was very inspired and excited to see what he has in store for us. Hey guys, we're here out in Mandeville, Lower Riverside. We're on Sherbin. Call me and say, hey, Kyle, you to come see what's going on. Um, I'm excited to see what he's up to. As usual, man a hunting bush, low scene around our back, high protein shrubs. And he's going to give us a new tour of my facility. So stay tuned and pick up the farm on him. Yeah, yeah, man. Go away, yes, 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 man. So. I hope you guys remember our vlog we did with Shervin and Kyle, you know, like father like son. And I want you guys to look at the difference and look at the improvement of what Shervin now put together. The man has expanded his operation and about to take the goat rearing to a next level. So guys, make we quickly do a small tour with Shervin and his facility and we'll show you a before and after. So Shervin, we see you do some massive expansion. Walk us through what is it that you're doing, what the size look like, and what changes you really make to your system from before, and why, if you can tell us. Why first is because love good farming, and I um, swear it is profitable. Not on a short term basis, but long term. Mm -hmm. So we have to expand as in to cater to going forward, so that is the reason for expansion. Um, the size that was added on, it's 20 by 15. Took a lot of lumber, but um, I cut the lumber from the forest myself. So mm -hmm. all of these lumber, all of these were cut. From so, the... so if me want to cut lumber, I can ask you for cut lumber for me? No problem. I, I have assisted of, uh, several persons that have assisted. And if you look, uh, look around there, you see a lot of uh, those who are going to uh, a farmer that. Oh, people. so guys, if you guys want lumber, come check Shervin. Shervin helping you out. Guys, no lumber crisis is very expensive now. And I'm sure Sherby will give you guys a sweet deal so they can expand on the pens. So the expansion you said 20 by 15. 15. How much animals are you going to put in that expansion? Well, um, 
going forward, I, I, I don't have a set number in my head as how much I'm catering to, but as a, my plan going forward is to add. So the increase come, I add a little part of it. So what I'll be doing is putting a shed over there so soon from now that will be taking place in another month or so. Okay. So I'm fencing so the kids can come out and get the exercise without having to be watched. Oh, lovely. Supervised any at all. Yes, yes. So one of, one of the changes that I put in place is that each pen now put in the hay. I realize that, boss. Yeah, man. Hay feeder now. Hay feeder, each pen. Each so, pen of a hay feeder. And I'm trying, I am trying my best not to go out of here any at all. All right, boss. So, Great. Over, the extreme end I put the hay storage. Storage, like, a seat. Over yeah. the extreme end. So. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, boss. I like this. I like this. So your yeah, expansion is based on your kidding season. Show us where your kidding season are going with. Alright, so this, this was the first kid that was born. She's now going into five months. Oh, five months. You want to call her Blessing Plus and she's a graded. Surprised, sad to say, is a graded. Perfect graded and Per Yeah, she's nice for graded. Perfect. Yeah, highly graded. Uh, yeah. So this is this, the father is right here, so that, that is his first offspring. Oh, this is our boy there. Yeah, man. First offspring. Hey, big man. Bro, God, get a cup. Bro, God. Offspring. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. First daughter. First daughter. Yeah. You're, not, you're not selling this daughter, though. No. Yeah, keep her. Those, those are being kept. Second daughter is right here, so. This is a, it's my small creep here. So, that is the mother right here. But get up. Jada, I call her Jada. Oh, Jada, how? Oh, and she's what, five months too? No, she's just three months. Three months? No, man, three months and two weeks. Wow, Jada. serving. So that is her beside her mother. This, these are some out, them, them really performing, bro. So, th so we have mother, daughter, daughter, and granddaughter. And so. granddaughter. Yeah, man, she's, oh, your yeah, family she's line. Around. Yeah. Sherwin is doing some great breeding work, guys. Ha! <laughs> He's coming. So we'll be keeping we'll be keeping the granddaughter and the daughter keeping them. So that is the brother, the twin brother to Jada. I call him Skilly. Skilly so Bang! Keeping him until he probably four or five months ago. And you put him out to the market. So guys, if you want something nice, sure if you have one coming up, you can place your orders from early. Took him out the mother a couple of weeks ago. So see level of independence and uh, so on. But so, so the kids them out of the This is from the new kidding season. Yeah, all, all of these outside. And these are in the market too, are they going to be staying here? Yes, they're already. Most of, they're gone, gone, gone. They're gone, gone already. Gone, gone. All right, guys. The industry moving. Animals have sell from them three, gone, two gone, months. Gone. So I have one native goat to depend. So these are her two. These are two. Yeah, See, I make a comparison. Yeah, man. These are the two. But they look good for natives, them up there, them body yeah. looking good. So, so this boy will be eating over Christmas and eating them until Christmas. Ah, yeah, the Christmas. Christmas buck. <laughs> May I come for peace? Come on, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the, the small of the two. This one is just three, four, the dark. I'm gonna keep it. This one I got in front of you right here, dark in front of the camera is sold already. Not in, I don't collect crime, but I'm serious by an uh, animal. Animal already. The one in the bucket I'll be keeping him. Okay. This little female right here, so gone already likewise. So I just yeah, she's just over a month old. So I'll get that ready if you can't go going away soon. Soon, soon, soon. And that that brown one I call him call her half an hour. Half an hour. That one belongs to your friend Raman. Oh Raman. yes, yes, Raman, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Many persons come and try to out with him, but can't yeah, get him. Yeah. Guys, action na Jamaica goat gun for an auction now, you know man. <laughs> I'm planning to do AI and them soon, 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 soon. Okay, soon. do the AI. So, which line you plan to use? What about more semen available? I have, a, I have one new one I'm going to put some of the new and semen on, but I'm going to use. I don't know the more options available, mm -hmm. but I'll definitely be using. And the purpose of doing that is to improve genetics on the farm. On the farm. Yeah, and I need a, I need a book to keep back for myself from that. So, I am going to sacrifice. This will be a huge sacrifice, but I'm going to sacrifice. And do they? She she was bred to the recent Dembi champion. Yeah, the, the most recent Dembi that was held. Smiker. Smiker. Yeah. Okay, nice new girl. She was bred. How are you? And she have the features that Romeo knows in the mouth is talking about. So, Sherwin plan to do the AI to improve the genetics on him herd. And he plan to select. And why I'm doing that is because he want to improve his genetic diversity. He don't want to have too much inbreeding. And he want to also see if he can include more improved traits on what he's having. So guys, that is the real purpose of AI. For you to diversify your genetic lines. And select from what is best. 
So man. what is going on on this back part now? This is your one native girl. I mean, say you have sheep. Where do you sheep, yeah, Papa? Man, you, you know, so, um, one, one, one of the nicest thing about the sheep. I use them as a cleaner, as a cleaner, they will eat whatever the other goats reject. Ah, so the other, true. Uh, whatever less, the other goats reject. Yes, so, so less we so so, Yeah, so they don't cost me a thing. The only thing that they cost me is to, when I give them the little greens. The greens. Yeah, man, but they eat anything that I go to refuse to eat. All right, guys, I hope you guys are learning. They are full now. And you can sit in a true cut. They are full. You must have true cut now. They are full now. I have a cut that I have a cut. This is Mona. If you remember the last yeah, time, I remember Mona and, and, and her. So she gave me two of the girls. Ooh, finally, Mona. Oh, these are nice. So I'll keep him back one for sure. For sure, yes, yes, yes. She's so inside being pregnant now. So I'm hoping to get kids from her soon. The, the girl that's out the front, this is her mother. Her mother, yes. Oh, this good. And you don't know your fatness are fucking up these guys here. They want, they want, they want Christmas. 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 So guys, we can start plan for ordering the meat from now for August and Christmas from Shervey. He's doing a great job here guys. So I hope you guys see the whole how diverse his operation is. One, he's selling genetics. Two, he have sheep what help reduce him wastes but plus add income as sell as meat. He must buy some native animals or rear some native animals to grow them as partners to the meat market so as goat farmers there are so many different avenues for us to make our money from just invest put in the right facility and your management to be better you have less mortalities and you can make some money boy Shervin, i'm proud of your brother i'm not lying to you this improvement is amazing so guys the last time we came you only had these feeders so i'm trying to improve the old feeding program you have your next option for the animals they can now consume here him have a mineral feeder, him have a bucket of water, him and him way to glory. Correct spacing. Why, Shervy? You yeah, go on, brother. You yeah, go on. You yeah, go on, brother. See that, guys? Animal comfort. We provide him an external grass crop animals on both sides. So when they come in, you can clip. And this help them reducing them eating on the outside to where they can probably pick up worms and coxie. So, you know, it's just really making animals them comfortable. They have a water bucket outside us, they can get water on the outside. This is just really great work. He's going in the right direction. So, the new future. Uh, Regarding the lumber, when I went to the hardware and, I, and they gave me a quotation for the material I want, I couldn't afford quarter of the price. <laughs> that's it, that's it, reality. I couldn't afford if I, if I bought. The lumber, the material at the lumber yard or the hardware wouldn't work out, none at all. And they always talk about some things that make financial sense. Yes, yes. So I went and I got a salmon. And it, when, 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 I, when we cut these and, I, and we see the effectiveness, because one of, one of the four by four in the, in the hardware, mm -hmm. they actually measure three by three. And they're for almost $9,000. And when I, when I cut one of these, even we're selling them, we sell them for $3,000. So you save like $5,000. That's, that's, that's amazing. These shop, I can show you these shop. I can, I can guarantee you, so you won't get a stronger shop than any of these. And, and I can show you. I can demonstrate and show you. You won't get any stronger than these. Any chop. Any chop. And these were cut. Yeah, and they're all the chop in the pen, they're like this. These were cut. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because these were cut. Yeah. These are really one inch. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And we're going to 12 or 14 inches with these to make the chalk. We won't get anything better than these to make any chalk. And all the charts in the pen there are the same. Step in any one of them. Anyone. Okay. Sturdy. Let me demonstrate on the outer pen. I'll risk my life and show you how serious. <laughs> how firm these charts are. Yes, man. It's not from the outside. It's not from the outside. Firm. Here is how we can get out of that. Here, oh, Papa. Cut, cut the wood from the pine tree. So all that is, carry four by four. All of the lumber on the floor, 
same thing, everything comes from the forest. So it, it's like you, you'll, you'll, you'll save three quarters of your money than going to the lumber yard. I'm going to the lumber yard. Than going to the lumber yard. So guys, again, <laughs> innovative guys. Guess who decided to wake up and give us a visit? And it was Kyle, the star for the show, the ladies man. And here he is and he's up and running. We had a great day and I want you guys to look at how is it that Shervin is really putting together his system. He also has his succession plan in place where his son will come and take over his empire. So thank you guys for subscribing to my channel.